Zeit für Frühstück. Zeit, ein Black Metal Lied aufzunehmen. The question is, why do we come to Germany so much? You people are so fucking obsessed with metal. And you are a breed of human beings and species that I hope never dies. You are, you are here on earth for this fucking music. You really are. There we are, German black metal. It's not an easy topic for me because um, I am German, so I'm talking about this genre from the inside, not from the outside. And there is something to German black metal I cannot describe. I would say German black metal is faceless. German black metal has no actual face. For example, Swedish black metal is, is brutal, is hateful and fast. Oh, Norwegian black metal is, is cold and Finnish black metal is always good. I love Finnish black metal, it's great. Or Russian black metal. Russian black metal is always kind of atmospheric. Most of the Russian black metal bands are atmospheric. You know, when I, when I listen to, to Russian black metal, it feels like I'm standing on a on a, on a vast and wide landscape with a red sky and such things. Of course, there are not every Russian band, not every Russian black metal band is atmospheric. For example, Pursuit of God isn't atmospheric at all. But most of them. The face of every country has its black metal face, but Germany doesn't have a face. To me, there is no attribute that describes German black metal, except for different, yeah, maybe different. German black metal is, is a, a little kind of different if you compare it to the other ones. Maybe because we don't have a face. We don't know what to do. Listen to 10 different German black metal bands and you will feel 10 different moods. All right. So now let's start the, the writing process. Uh, I like to start with the guitar. I'll choose a white guitar just because um, I'm, I'm such a rebel, you know. First we need to plug it in, of course. Ah, yeah. Um, uh, one of the most important things in German black metal is um, we get our inspiration by, not by beer, as the primitive black metal styles are do doing no um we drink tasty red wine pretty important because we want to feel uh, as if we are uh, kind of intelligent german black metal can be angry for example krater i definitely recommend the new album uh, or or uh, Nagelfa. And German black metal can be melancholic at the same time. For example, Vedat. Or the most, uh, I think it's the most famous German black metal band, Nagarot. Also, a really melancholic band. Most of the time. I mean, Nagarot is not that good. I, I don't like Nagarot that much, but uh, I really enjoy the, the, the melancholic songs. 
like uh, Seven Tears Are Flowing to the River, of course, it's a, it's, it's a black metal classic. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I know that because I'm I'm very into wine. I I drink um, um honestly I drink about uh, w one bottle a year. So let's plug the guitar in. Start our recording program. We need a clean guitar, of course, because uh, to sum up all the all the styles there are, we need a clean guitar definitely. So, uh, we need to find a good clean tone. I mean, uh, yeah, a good clean tone. Uh, I, I already got one. Wow, that's so sad. No, that's too sad. What's this? Yes, yes, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a THC head. No, I'm not. Pretty shit. Oh, this is going to be not that easy. Oh, 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 oh. Come as you are. This one is called Come as you are. Ah. Nirvana uh, uh, could have been a really great black metal band. German black metal can be really, really good at uh, riffs. There are guitar riffs created in Germany that are absolutely mind-blowing. For example, uh, Silberbach. Songs from Silberbach and their album uh, there will be blood. Very good album. And Helruna. Helruna is a okay. It's a pagan black metal, but it's pagan black metal. It's black metal. Also very good riffs. The album uh, Balderokis. Definitely recommend it. And uh, Germany has some. Special black metal bands like Askaraya. They uh, use a lot of acoustic guitar and they, are, they have a, a very iconic, uh, I must say, or a, a special singer. Not everyone likes that. Germany has no face. German black metal is... it's it's hard to, to write a German black metal song. So this is called Kaito Kinds or something. I think it's like... Um, it's um, simulates chords or something. I don't know. Hate this. Of course, it's uh, it's it's good when you when you have German lyrics, but uh, they they that sounds not right. I mean, um, maybe because I'm from Germany, but uh, vocals in German sound yeah like like that's <coughs> that's the the German I don't know that's the it sounds like a cliche, but but that's German. It's the <coughs> Just uh, a little bit stiff, maybe. But German black metal can also be very uh, intelligent, very smart. Uh, a lot of German black metal bands um, have a very uh, good song structure. For example, Heimdall's Wacht. It's also a pagan black metal band. But yeah, they, they have uh, interesting song, song structures. I just need a clean sound with a little hall and stuff. Big chunk is this. It's 
Screaming Jay Z, Fuzzy Hall, Deep Cave. Oh, this this is echo. <laughs> That's Pink Floyd. That's the first album of Pink Floyd. It's called uh, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Yes, that sounds exactly like that. Especially the song um, Overdrive. Oh, God. Interstellar Overdrive. Overdrive. Yeah, something like that. I think it's called Interstellar Overdrive. Listen to it. It's Yeah, it's, it's like an LSD trip. Useless Alien. <laughs> And this sounds like Biosphere Substrata. It's an ambient, uh, an ambient project of a Norwegian musician called Geir Jansen or something. Uh, I, I, I don't find anything. So I just record acoustic guitar and add um, the delay and the echo shit later. What do we need? Is a minor chord. And then go up just one um, fret. Well, that's so creepy. Whoa. Whoa. We use that as the intro and nothing else. Electric guitar! Finally! Okay, I use that tone. So, to me, uh, yeah, how to write a German black metal song, I don't know. To be honest, uh, I think because I'm German, every black metal song I record is a German black metal song, but uh, that would be too, too easy, too simple. If you ask me what, what mood I would say German black metal is, it's... Um, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I said um, I said before that Russian black metal makes me feel like I'm standing on the big landscape. German black metal makes me feel like I'm standing in a cellar, in the basement, in a small room. Not every time, but most of the time. German black metal is really uh, feels like it's really going on absolutely here. No, no room for for other feelings. No room for, for joy, no room for uh, love, of course not, no, no room for hate. I, I, would, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't describe German black metal as, as hateful, except for maybe Catharsis, but Catharsis is, is basically a Norwegian black metal band. German black metal is not even uh, um, some kind of transcendental, it's, it's, uh, it feels like German black metal has its feet on the ground, but... Uh, still is connected to it's is, is kind of connected to every feeling there is but not uh, really it can uh, cut off the connection easily it's hard to describe I don't know yeah um, <clears throat> this video is not scripted I'm uh, talking just right off the cuff so uh, I don't know what to say I think we should just start the recording and see where do we go uh, I wanted to start the song with uh, a simple riff and over that uh, a pretty nice melody uh, a melody that is not that good but is good enough to stay in the song some kind of boring some kind of uh, what's going on there you know it's German black metal we, we need to, we we need to sound a little artistic Yeah, something like that. So now it's time to find a good melody over that. What was it again? Oh yeah, these two notes. Yeah, oh, I forgot it. Oh. oh yeah. So something like... No, that sounds too Norwegian. And uh, the whole metalcore and gen genre uh, steal this trick from, from the black metal style. Stalled? Stole? Stole? Stealed? There is no steal, no? I mean the, the past... The past... Yeah, you know what I mean. They took it away from us. So, some uh, riffing, some lick. A, a boring lick? A boring lick? That's not too boring. Just another... another one.
Sounds a little boring and sounds a little interesting. I I'll take that. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was that was um a kind of Finnish black metal. Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. First riff. That's the first riff. I think uh, I won't repeat any of the riffs. Just play one riff after another, just to sound, you know, artistic and German. I mean, the Germans are really structured, aren't they? So now we're just rebellious. No structure this time. I'm German and I can do this. Yeah! It's good for the angry stuff, I think. Or something like that. Yes. And maybe some... Uh... Yes! Okay, uh, I think the guitars are written down. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So, now... There is an instrument, there is an instrument we, we need to use. It's the first time I use this one in black metal, so I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry to wake you, sorry, but, but uh, could, you, could you please come, come over? Yeah, w would be really nice, yes, yes. So, yeah, so, sorry yeah, to disturb you, but you can, you can sleep. When, when we're done, yeah? All right. A bass. I mean, it's German black metal. We're, we know what we do, and we can, we can play the bass. Yes? Just play the root note of the guitar. All right. Let's play all the root notes there are. All right. <clears throat> so, go to sleep now. Sorry, huh? sorry again. Yes, okay. 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 Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. No problems with the bass. Um. Yeah. No. We're done tricking guitars. We're done with the bass. We need to record the vocals now. No. We need to write lyrics in German and English and Latin. A little French. Because we are. Uh, we are intelligent and artistic, so we used uh, tons of different languages in a song. Yeah, I wrote. I just wrote some lyrics. Yeah, they're German, no Latin, no French. I mean, you you don't understand the lyrics at all. Uh, so why put a lot of effort in it? Um. Yeah. So um. Now I got the lyrics. I'll print them and uh, record the vocals but we need a, a logo a band logo for our german black metal band we, we use the, the logo machine paint paint is the stuff all the artists work with so uh, a black background please yes yeah what's the name of our band we play german black metal so it's nice to have a german black metal band name a german band name how about frost no, I'm sure there there are a lot of bands with this name. Wald. No. Uh, Frozen Forest Frost. Oh no, I, I'm pretty sure that's another band. Weltenbrand. That's good. It means um, burning worlds, but just in one word because we're German. Uh, we Germans are are uh, professionals in putting uh, two or three words together to to one word. Weltenbrand comes from uh, Welt, which means world, and Brand, which means, yeah, burn, fire, you know. Weltenbrand. It's like Weltschmerz. Weltenbrand. Oh, wow, that's perfect. Weltenbrand. Yeah, I can recognize the, the letters. That's not good. Um, so, so take some some lines or something and yeah, ah, yeah, yeah that's good oh yeah some lines of sadness some lines of, of depression lines of brutality 
M melancholy and uh, all the stuff German black metal stands for. So now it's impossible to guess what what letters there are. I'm pretty sure. So let's try to read it. No, I cannot read it. That's good. I don't know what what that. Yeah, what is this? What's this word? No, I have no idea. I just uh, just forgot the band name, but I'm pretty sure it's standing there, just right in front of me. But I'm not able to read it. I can't. That's perfect. I uh, call it logo.png. Use this for the YouTube video. I think um, just record the vocals and um, let's see how it sounds, the German black metal. Uh -huh. 